to Firefighter Caprata Fire Safety Tips. Today we're going to do a lamb stew. So lamb stew is uh, also a delicious and simple dish. We're going to do the crock pot like we did before. Uh, the handy crock pot, if you're a, a busy family like I talked about before, it's easy to use, it's safe, you put it on a timer, you don't put it underneath the cabinet and uh, it'll be ready to go. So set it, forget it. Uh, now the lamb stew, I already have over here my mushrooms and one stick of butter. I know it sounds like a lot of butter, boom. but this is about 16 ounces of mushrooms. So uh, two bags, two bags of mushrooms. I'm gonna put this on the burner right now. We're gonna let it cook down. So I'm gonna let it cook down. Make sure it's ready to burn it first. So I'm gonna cause that kitchen fire I talked about before. So I'll go over kitchen fires. So NFPA, right? Uh, they talk about there's I think 173,000 kitchen fires or things or fires that amount to cooking every year. 173,000. It's crazy, right? So it's a lot of fires. So this, this lamb stew I'm going to talk about today, uh, it's going to consist of a really good grass-fed lamb. So right here, delicious grass-fed lamb right here. So basically I take this apart and all I do is kind of just drop it in that crock pot. And you can put it on that searing or that, that mode that kind of kind of browns it, right? Browning. So we're gonna do that as I cut up the vegetables and kind of prepare everything else. Now, to season that lamb, right, right? You're gonna need a little salt, a little pepper. So a little sea salt, boop, sea salt right there, and a little black pepper. It's always hard to get it correct right in there, but black pepper. So what I do is I just basically put a little pepper in here. Now my goal is not to make it too spicy because my little guy doesn't like a lot of spice. My wife, on the other hand, loves that spice. So. What I do is I just grind this down. Let's get a little noisy, okay? Noisy for a second. Grind that down, and we're going to put it right inside of that dish. Now, with this lamb stew, uh, I talked about how much lamb you can put in there. Now, the pack I have is roughly three pounds of lamb. And this right here is lamb loin chopped with bone in. So, lamb loin. Now, we're going to use two bell peppers, red bell peppers I'm going to chop up, one onion I'm going to chop up, and then two cans of tomatoes right here. See those tomatoes? Two cans of tomatoes. Uh, these tomatoes, there's 14.5 ounces per can. So it looks like the pepper's ready to go. I also use a little garlic. Remember that bag of garlic I talked about? Just one bag's fine. You put that all in the pot, right? And it's, it's history, it's amazing. So what I'm gonna do is basically go ahead and put this pepper in here. Oops, some pepper kinda went everywhere. So it seems like a lot right there, but it's, it's actually not that much, believe it or not. When everything cooks down, it tastes unbelievable. Someone's gonna rub my hands on this, kinda get it all seasoned, dry season right here. But when you cook it down and start browning it, Oh man, it's amazing. So, so right here, I'm gonna cook this. We're gonna cook this down, brown it up. Lamb has a really good flavor, so the natural flavors are gonna be oozing. So, I don't know if that sounds like a good word, oozing, but you're gonna be tasting the nice flavors. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead. Now the garlic, you could also chop up. My hands are a little wet. Oh, so let me try to do this right here. Use my knife a little bit just to open this up. There we go. Once I open this up, we're gonna blend that garlic. All we do is blend it. So, don't wanna make it too salty there. So I'm just gonna blend that garlic. Now, that seasoning I was talking about before, just do it to taste. Now, there's no specific measurements. When I say salt and pepper, you know, you don't want to oversalt it, you don't want to undersalt it. You just kind of want to, you know, maybe use more pepper than salt. So meat has natural salts. So the garlic's going to get kind of all ready right here. I'm actually going to put a little olive oil. So olive oil, also by taste, put a little bit in there. I'll use a whole bunch, just a tiny bit. Okay, so now what I do is I pour the garlic. That one bag inside of here, right where all that lamb is. There we go. So 
we're done. What's the blender? Blender doesn't need to be used anymore. Blender's all finished. Let's go ahead and I'm going to brown this. So let's turn this guy on. I'm going to go, it says brown and saute. So you're going to start hearing it kind of crisping up a little bit. I'm going to pour a little bit of olive oil in there, just a little bit. This is extra virgin olive oil. You want to do maybe like, you can do a half a cup, you can do a little more. So I do it by eye. Good, right about there. So that's going to brown it up. Now, when this is all browned up, next what I do, you're going to see, I'm going to do this right here. I basically pour the tomatoes right in there. But first, let's chop up the veggies. So the veggies, let's chop up. Pretty easy. Just want to chop it. So it's kind of like in little cubes, little squares, just so it looks looks good, breaks down easy. It'll still be chunky by the time we finish cooking this. Now you could cook this down for like four hours. Uh, you could do like again, like I said before, from my other previous dishes, four to six hours. But four hours is, is plenty. And it's gonna cook that meat thoroughly, and everything will be fine. It slow cooks it. It has like a nice nice texture and flavor to it. So let me go ahead, check out my mushrooms and how they're doing, and then we'll go ahead and saute some vegetables. And that'll just take a couple minutes here. So it's good to kind of saute your vegetables first. I like doing that. I personally think it kind of gives it a different flavor. So right here, my mushrooms. There we go. So as this cooks down a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and pour those mushrooms inside that crock pot. Now this dish is an easy dish. I'm not cheating time here. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, you know, shorten the video by doing a lot of good uh, editing because I'm a horrible editor. My skills are limited to cooking and firefighting. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So the mushrooms are almost done over here. For browning, browning that meat, now, like I said, you can brown it, get it nice and crispy brown, or go ahead, leave it like it is, and you can actually put everything in there. Uh, either way, it works nice. The browning of the meat, it could do it in the crock pot or in a pan. What it does is it kind of sears the outside a little bit, and so all the moisture and juices are on the inside. Now, either way, they both taste good. It might have a little bit different taste um, if you like truly brown it. We're going to go ahead and start pouring everything in there so I can kind of show you how it works and how quickly this dish goes. So the mushrooms here, mushrooms are ready to go. So we got the mushrooms. I'm going to go ahead and pour the mushrooms right in here. Boom, mushrooms are good, right? So now, let me get my, whew, I have a little napkin here always. So I'm going to put this back on here. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my vegetables in that pan. Remember I told you about that pan. So watch this. So first onions. Now this kind of just goldens the onions up, kind of makes them good. I'm going to dice up those red peppers. Do the same thing with red peppers. It could be red, yellow, orange, whatever color you like. Now I want to talk about also, it's the holiday season. Great season. But like I said, 173,000 fires start from cooking. So you never want to leave anything unattended other than like a crock pot. Never a stove, never an oven. So you wanna, wanna stay home when you do those things. You know a thousand of those 173,000 fires start from fryers. So like uh, frying a turkey or chicken or whatever you're gonna fry, a thousand of those fires start just from that alone, which is kind of crazy, right? So never leave anything unattended. Be home and watch your, your cooking. If it's a crock pot, it might be a different story because that's, that's what it's meant to do. So here's my, my, un, uh, my uh, peppers. I'll put them right here. Same exact thing. Kind of just, just cook it a little bit, make it nice. Now this is going to be in here. I'm going to go ahead and pour my tomatoes. Those petite tomatoes right inside. There's one, right? There's two. Okay, so dish is almost ready just to go for six hours. Oh, I'm sorry, four hours. 
So, personal weight on these guys here. I'm not golden these guys up, as you can see. Almost there. Give it another minute. And then we're going to put the top on here. When the top's on, the magic starts. In about four hours, my little guy and my family will be able to enjoy their dish. And so why? Oh. One missing in action down there. Okay, so we're almost done there. This only took a couple minutes. This is a simple dish through the crock pot. You can do it on a burner too if you want, on a big pan, a double cooker. Uh, now butter, you could actually add some more butter in here. I think we got plenty, so we used one stick for the, for the uh, mushrooms. So I think we're fine. All the other natural fats and everything are going to be in there with the lamb. Put the butter back. First going back. So let me put the vegetables inside the crock pot and then we're going to stay tuned for the final final. In a couple hours I'm going to show you what it ends up looking like. Okay, so vegetables are ready to go inside. Like this. Vegetables right in there. Ready to go. Stay tuned for about four hours. I'm going to show you the final. I'll plate it. You'll see it. And we're going to love it. We're back. I have my stew. My lamb stew. And it's been almost four hours. But it's been ready for a while. So uh, it took about three hours. And I'm going to plate it right now. And my family's going to eat it. So everybody's home ready to go. So right now... My buddy wants pasta, so I'm going to make like a base on there, like just a pasta bed, and put it on it. It works that way too. So, let me show you what I got here. So, this is basically the stew. I'm going to come over to you so you can see it, but it is very good. So, a lot of steam. Let's, see, let's get this camera a little closer here. See if I can unleash. Whoa, look at that. Right there. I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but it is, as I pour on the floor, it is absolutely amazing. So let me see if I can give a little taste, taste test here for you. Now, you can almost break it apart with a spoon. Now, I know you can't taste over the, over, uh, the media, but just imagine... The slime's falling apart in my mouth. Amazing. So, you're going to like it. My lamb stew. You try it at home. Right now, I'm going to go uh, put it down on my little area over here. I'll show you. Aiden, 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 Aiden. You have to move, have to move buddy. You can't be naked. Aiden, Aiden, you have to get out of the way. Bye-bye. There we go. So, this is where we're playing it right here. It's going to go down. Family's gonna have a nice meal ready for them to eat. There we go. Thank you for joining me. Join me next time for firefighter safety tips as I get my cameras and stuff right. But thanks, take care, have a good night. Happy uh, happy holidays.